After six years of learning, three years of school-based assessments and another three days of rigorous grade six national examinations, the government has decided that contrary to the expectations of many grade six learners who had hoped to join secondary schools for their junior secondary education, they will remain in primary schools. Kenya Union of Post-Primary Education Teachers, CUPET, and the Kenya National Union of Teachers, NAT, had been polling in different directions on where the junior secondary learners should be domiciled. Junior secondary, that is grade 7, 8, and 9, should be domiciled in primary schools. Junior secondary school is a secondary school curriculum. And in that respect, it is best placed in the secondary school. And it is also premised on the aspect that secondary schools are already preparing to have them. Did you know that there is only Kenya that is actually holding children in the primary school for as long as eight years? Yeah. That in the whole world, no any other country holds students for that long. That the average holding of students in primary is actually six years. Yet, that push and pull between the two main teacher unions and other stakeholders and educationists has been put to rest. A statement by the government released after the Working Party on Education Reforms presented its first interim report to the president, said junior secondary school, comprising of grades 7, 8, and 9, will be domiciled in the existing primary schools, and that the Minister of Education will provide the necessary guidelines on how this will be done. Kupet Secretary General Kelo Misori termed the decision unfortunate. In a statement, Misori said Kupet was deeply disappointed by the recommendations made in the interim report of the Presidential Working Party on Education Reform, claiming it was clear that the Working Party had decided to negate the essence of the competency-based curriculum, but only lacks the confidence to say as much. On the just concluded grade 6 assessment, the government says the Kenya Primary School Education Assessment, Kipsaya, will not be used for placement in junior secondary school. Instead, it will be used as an assessment to monitor learning progress and provide feedback to education sector players on areas that require intervention. But Kupet termed this decision a huge negation to the progress made to the CBC. The union says maintaining the junior secondary school in current primary schools beats the purpose of CBC, pointing out that primary schools have no human or physical infrastructure to deliver on the curriculum. Kupet SG further accuses the working party of reverting the country to the 844, but only lacks the honesty to state the obvious. The decision by the government to retain junior secondary and primary schools also marks a major CBC implementation deviation from the previous administration that had planned to move these children to secondary schools. Former Education Cabinet Secretary George Magua made trips across the country overseeing construction of over 10,000 classrooms at a cost of 8 billion shillings. The government says instead of moving learners to those new classes, an extra classroom and a laboratory will be built in every primary school, with priority going to the construction of laboratories within the next 20 years. Meanwhile, primary schools and neighboring secondary schools will share their laboratories and other facilities with junior secondary schools. Kenya Union of Post-Primary Education Teachers Kupet says the working party has created more problems than the one it sought to solve. However, NAT has celebrated the move, terming it a huge victory. NAT Secretary General Collins Oyu hailed the recommendations, saying the task force had captured the views of teachers in the country. It is, however, emerging that the government was keen to ensure some of the challenges of infrastructure and teacher utilization were properly addressed during transition. KT News has learned that the government is keen on ensuring that the full exit of the 844 cohort was given priority in the transition plan. For instance, the 844 last group, presently in class 7, and who will sit KCP next year, will join Form 1 in 2024, while the present grade 6 will exit junior secondary in 2025. Going by this plan, it means that in 2025, there will be no admissions to Form 1, and this will give the government time to prepare for transition to the next level of learning. Shadrach Miti, KT News.